The meaning of the name Addis Ababa is a new flower. The city was founded in 1886 by Emperor Menelik II for his wife Taito. The emperor's fascination with the flowering eucalyptus tree is what inspired the city's name. Addis Ababa was established on the foot of Mount Toto near the hot springs and quickly became the emperor's capital, shortly turning into one of the major cities in Africa. Today, Addis Ababa is the capital of Ethiopia and of the African Union. People from about 80 different nationalities who speak 80 different languages reside in Addis, and it is home to Christian and Muslim communities. During the mass, the monks come out with the case in which lies a copy of the New Testament, wrapped in pretty fabric. Worshippers kiss the case as a symbol of honor and devoutness. At the end of the mass, the worshippers gathered all around the priest to receive his blessing. One of the things which distinguish Ethiopia is the central role that spirituality and religion play in the people's lives. Again, I found myself going to one of the most fascinating churches in Addis Ababa. At the center of Bole, on the West Bole Road, stands the newly built Bole Medhane Alem. Bole Medhane Alem Cathedral reputedly the largest church in Addis Ababa and the second largest in Africa. According to available manuscripts, the advent of Christianity to Ethiopia dates back to the 4th century. There are several ancient and historical churches in Addis Ababa. The Bole Medhane Alem Church was built very recently with state-of-the-art technology. There are numerous churches in the metropolis. Catholicism, Protestantism and Jehovah Witnesses are the other religions practiced next to the Orthodox Christianity, which has the largest numbers of followers. Each person, standing in silence, near a tree or in some other corner, so focused and attentive. This reminded me of a meditation. During the ceremony, I noticed the practice of kneeling down sometimes touching the ground with the tip of the worshipper's head. This reminded me of Islam. The mixture between so many different religious traditions intrigued and fascinated me.
Ethiopian Christianity contains many features which resemble Judaism. One of the most significant things is the separation between men and women. I was mesmerized by the white-wearing people standing and listening to the prayers of the priest. There was something very special about the atmosphere in the church's garden. Another day went by, and a long day awaits ahead, as tomorrow I plan to visit the largest market in Africa. East Ababa, what a different world! It is August, grey clouds are covering the sky. I sit on the porch overlooking the Big Mercato, the central market of Addis Ababa and the largest open market in Africa. Drinking coffee and watching the people walking by, I decide to go for a stroll in the market. market you can find it all. Corn, grains, spices, coffee, cotton, salt, clothes and jewelry. Pian women love jewelry and a man who wants to please his wife would buy her golden jewels. You can walk around for hours and hours and get lost in branching streets and shops. The market covers an area of more than a square mile containing about 15,000 different businesses, dozens of department stores, and two large indoor markets. It is an enormous residential and commercial district. Operates during daylight hours, and on the busiest days, about 200,000 people visit it. Kato is full of surprises, and even guns and traditional weapons can be found in its shops. There are countless skilled pickpockets in Addis Ababa. When one goes out into the street, it is best to only take what's necessary and to keep your wallet strapped on tightly. It is best not to walk alone in the dark streets. Addis Ababa is no less dangerous than other big cities around the world. trip to the market, I turned to Trinity Church, located in the Arat Kilo area. This is the largest church in Ethiopia. It was established by Emperor Haile Selassie in the 1930s. The church is very impressive from the outside and is decorated with many statues and European ornaments. The interior is decorated by many murals and patent glass depicting biblical scenes such as the baptism of Jesus Christ, the original sin, 
the crucifixion of Christ and his birth. is dedicated to the Holy Trinity. Six thrones are present, dedicated to the Emperor, his wife, and their four children. of the day, I went back to walk the city streets. For most backpackers, Addis Ababa is mainly a transit center in their travels around other parts of the country. It is a place where one can find high-speed internet, a slightly larger variety of foods, and a hot shower. But if you devote a little more attention to it, you will find that beneath the surface, Addis is a fascinating city, full of surprises. After an exciting evening mass at the church, I went to eat at the Dome restaurant in the Concord Hotel. There's a show on tonight with ethnic songs and dances in many different styles, accompanied by traditional costumes and musical instruments. Addis Ababa is a city full of attractions and a local tour guide will be happy to show you around its many sights and passages.